fine. Today we'll see how we can make the setup for allocation process in Microsoft Dynamics 365. The allocation process is used for allocate uh, amounts for specific or range of or maybe one ledger account or multiple ledger accounts. You can use all balances in ledger accounts or dimensions or general ledger accounts and the financial dimensions together to allocate it among either ledger accounts or ledger accounts with dimensions or dimensions only. So we will see now how we can make the allocation. As your organizations maybe sometimes decide to make allocation, for example, for head office expenses to allocate it among the other branches, for example, or legal entities. So you have the option to allocate the, uh, you have the option to let Microsoft Dynamics 65 make this allocation process systematic and automatic once you make the setup for this process. So you can every month make a process allocation request one time, which will generate the allocation journal directly. We will see now how we can create the allocation setup. If you need to make allocation from general ledger here, allocation, ledger allocation rules. You see this, ledger allocation rules. Click new. Here, enter the description for the allocation rules. I write, for example, allocation for head office expenses. Effective date, so for example, November 1 November. Expiration date, you can put, for example, today and both range of dates like this. You can edit the expiration date as you want. You must click active. If you want, if you don't click active, which means this allocation would, will not be available for using in the generating the journal process. <coughs> After you click new, you enter description, effective date, expiration date, check the active, then click general. In general tab here, you will find the description which you entered in overview. Effective date, expiration date, the active. Okay. If it's intercompany rule, you have to click intercompany yes. If it's not intercompany, click no. The allocation method here, you will find the phases, fixed percentage, fixed width, equity. Okay. Basis, which mean the Allocation process will check the actual balance to the ledger, okay, and you will distribute it among this actual dimensions. And for example, if we decide that uh, if we decide that we need to use basis per se basis allocation method, you will not put fixed percentage or fixed width or equity. System will check the accounts and dimensions which you put in the destination, okay, and it will tool, uh, tool in the source, sorry, and the allocation method it would be percentage for the actual balance for each branch. And for example, you can say I need to allocate the head office expenses among the branches according to the revenue basis. So system will check the revenue in each branch, for example, and you will take percentage for each branch according to the total revenues for all branches and it will be used for the allocation. Fixed percentage, you will put the percentage manually here in the setup. Fixed width, you will put the amounts here in the setup equally, which mean you will put it equally, allocation equally among the other branches. So in our example, we would select, for example, fixed percentage. System ask you what is the journal name for allocation. It must be allocation. So if there is no journal name allocation, okay, here you can click right click new details. Then here click new. 
I would write like this. Okay, here the location journal. The journal type here is a location. Okay, here the voucher series you can click right click build page and select new or you can select any voucher series which are available in Microsoft Dynamics C65. Then click save. Here you can find the journal name and location is available. System ask you here is data source is ledger or fixed value. If you select ledger, which mean the data which would be allocated another on the uh, among the destination accounts or dimensions will be selected from ledger balance. If you select fixed value, which mean you have to enter here fixed amount whatever the ledger balance so this amount it will be allocated monthly okay or you can select ledger as our example okay here you have the options to none or multiply or divide you can click it none okay date interval code here you can select the date interval code which it will be current months okay or last month it's fair to keep it open as you can select the dates from the allocation process journal as we will see now. Once you finish this, you can click source here. Okay. Sorry. Once you finished here, come to offset. System ask you the offset account form is to the user specified here, which you mean you will select here the offset account and department and function dimensions, or you need to define it in source what is the difference between the offset if it will be here or here you can use offset here if it's only one account and dimension but if you need to allocate more than one account so it's better to come here to use source so this field is disappear and you can click source here then click new which main account you need to allocate for example I will select six five the rent expense. I need to allocate rent expense which financial dimension which for example department or function general administration or and also you can click new as you want the financial dimensions which Department is there is no department created, so in our example only it will be like this. Okay, so this is a source, this is a ledger balance and the account and dimensions which will, which should be used in the allocation. You can add more ledger accounts here and more financial dimensions in the source. Once you finish the setup for source, you can click destination from here in order to go to destination. Here you can set up the allocation, allocated the destination as per the setup. In our example, we selected fixed percentage, so fixed percentage is appeared. If you selected equally, this field it will not be available for entering. Okay. So I will click new now in this example. I will select it will be for example six, this five. I will allocate it to account rent expense, which function is, for example, accounting. I will put the account the percentage is 40%, then click save. Okay, then I will click new and put the percentage, the, percent, the total percentage here in this area must equal 100. So if I put 60 here and to account 5, for rent experiences for the function which you call sales so you can if I click save now you can find the total percentage is 100 whatever the number of accounts and dimensions which you are created here the most important to us is the percentage in total here must equal to 100 okay if you use the allocation method equally so this field will not be available for you once you click save 
across this screen and this screen and this screen also. So again, I will repeat again, firstly, if you need to create a location from general ledger, a location, ledger allocation rule, click new, you will, uh, the number sequence for allocation will come automatic. You will enter the description, effective date, expiry date, checkbox active. Then you have to go to general tab here. Once you go to general tab here, you can select the allocation method if it's fixed percentage or weight or basis or equally. You will then you will select the journal name. You will enter the description for the allocation which will appear in the transactions. Okay, here it will be appeared in the transaction. No, sorry, the description here for the journal name, the journal name's allocation, so it's allocation journal. Here is source, you will select the source if it will be ledger or fixed amount. Fixed amount, you will enter in this field, fixed amount of ledger, it will be ledger. Then you come to offset area here. If you make allocation for only one ledger account and at a specific dimension so you can click here user specified and select the account here and its dimension if you need to make allocation for more than one ledger account so you can you have to select here source and come to source area here click new to add main account and more main accounts and the financial dimensions as you want once you finished click destination in this area and click new to put the Destination, destination, yeah, the allocation to, allocated to, source, it mean allocate from, destination mean allocate to, so you can add multiple accounts and dimensions with percentage or equally as per your setup.